Ladies and gentlemen, before we start, probably the most expensive squad builder I've- In fact, it is the most expensive squad builder I've ever done. As always, I'm on a quest for 600k before Christmas. So if you're not subbed to the channel and you're brand new to the channel, subscribing genuinely does mean a lot, guys. We've had a lot of new subscribers recently, so welcome, one and all. Now let's get into the most expensive squad I've ever made. Alright, so this is the most expensive squad I have ever had in the history of any FIFA. Probably costs around 17 years of pocket money. This squad is around about £2,000. On one hand, it's awesome. On the other hand, it's kind of sad. If you can afford this team, guys, I would highly recommend going out and getting it because this is probably the most Pay to win instalment FIFA edition there's ever been. You've either got to be really good or pay a lot of money to do it. So we're going to start out with the formation, guys. And where is the formation? I've, I don't even know where it is. All right, so 4 one 2 one 2 second variation. The narrow version of the 4 one 2 one 2 Really, really good formation this year. Now, in goal, boys, we're starting it out big. You guys are not even ready for this team. It's Asmir Begovic. Yeah, well, I mean, you've got to start with an overpowered goalkeeper. And seeing as this year, no matter how much you pay for a goalie, they all play like Yashin anyway. And Begovic, I think, for the coins you pay for him, I paid 2k for this one, is absolutely unbelievable. I've tried De Gea, I've tried Van der Sar, tried Donnarumma, and I've tried Buffon. They're the five, including Begovic, the five keepers that I've tried this year. Donnarumma and Begovic are the best two of that five selection. So how does that make any sense? Anyway. Anyway, let's move on to the defence. The first player in defence, as always, at right back every year, is Kyle Walker. Year on year, this guy is simply sublime and he is brilliant once again. It's just unbelievable. You can't get... He stops Ronaldo, he stops Hazard. Every left winger in this game, no way near as good as Kyle Walker. And at left back, we've got another Englishman, but this year, pretty, pretty unstoppable if I'm honest. Danny Rose also has medium high work rates, which means he never really bombs on forward that much so a very very solid defender next player we have probably the best center back on the game i've tried chiellini i've tried manalas eric Bailly just outperforms both of them Fifty-five thousand coins shall i check how much he's going for considering it's the weekend league today i've made profit that's all good probably the best icon defender that i've tried so far this year 85 rated rio ferdinand 84 pace on a center back yeah, he's pretty broken. He's the first icon in the team, guys. You might end up seeing a few icons because, as I say, this squad is very, very, very expensive if you want to try and build it. The next person in the team we have is Mr. N'Golo Kante himself. Terrible stats for an 87 rated, but he plays exactly like N'Golo Kante always plays. So he's pretty good this year. He's untradeable. I packed him in a two player pack. The last normal gold card in this team is going to be Moussa Dembele. Brilliant centre mid. Like just straight up. Four star skills, 92 strength. But he does a job. He's very, very effective. I also packed this guy in my 100k foot champions pack but I was going to use him anyway just because his stats are so well rounded. Now here's where we get onto the entertaining part. The second icon in our team is the the centre mid Lothar Matthias. Look at that card. 1.5 million coins. Uh, 90 acceleration, 90 vision, 92 shot power, 93 long shots, 90 long pass, 91 stand tackle, 90 slide tackle, 92 interceptions, 90 stamina, 91 aggression. Like 11 stats above 90. Unbelievable. He is so, so good on this game. He doesn't ever tire because as you can see, his stamina is 90. Broken. I say broken. He's 1.5 million coins. But he plays like a 1.5 million coin player. And a lot of the players that I've picked in this team actually play to their value. All of the icons that I play with are incredible in game. The next icon, moving on, probably the best player in the game, I think hands down. I haven't tried his prime version yet because it's not out. It is of course Rude Hullet. Unbelievable. Five star weak foot, four star skills. Look at that record. That is on squad battles and in foot champion. Another player that has a ridiculous price tag, 3.3 million coins at the moment. In fact, he's going for more because it's the weekend league currently, but he's just so worth the amount that you pay for him. Probably one of the fair few cards on the game that warrants a 3 million coin price tag. Look at that. Just, I can't even begin to describe how incredible. Every single, he's in the Hullet gang. I mean, he is the Hullet gang. He is Hullet. 
you don't need any more. So the team at the moment is probably about five and a half, six million coins. Let's add another 500k on top of that, shall we? It's in for Gabriel Jesus, boys. I do have the actual gold card. I packed him in a two-player pack as well. But this one, paid 500k for him. So far in foot champs, that record is majestic. 95 agility, 94 balance, 87 finishing, 90 stamina. And obviously he's rapid as well, 91 acceleration. He's brilliant, he's absolutely brilliant. I would highly recommend going out and getting him because if you haven't worked out already, Gabriel Jesus is possibly the best striker on this game. Certainly when his team of the season card comes out, he will be without a doubt, apart from R9 Ronaldo, a lot of people won't be able to get him, the easiest attainable best striker on the game. That's the best way I can describe it. He is ridiculous. If you can't get the inform, get the normal card. Having Jesus in your team, you score a lot of goals. And then to complete the team, we have quite possibly the best player from the previous three iterations of FIFA. I've got his 91 rated because there's like a 2 million coin difference, but for the total overall stat difference between the 95 and the 91, they're not that much different. So I picked up the 91, and as you can see, once again, he's got 22 and 8 in 11 foot champs games. Absolutely ridiculous. 97 agility, 92 attack position, 94 acceleration sprint speed. Just read it. You don't, I don't have to explain. Just read it. He is ridiculous. Five star skills, four star weak foot, high medium work rates. It's Pele. Don't lose with this team, boys. I, I've got to be honest. I've said at the beginning, the game is pay to win. If you pay to get this team, you win games. And I'm going to prove that because a lot of the time people go, yeah, build the team, blah, blah, blah. We're going to go into an online single match and absolutely destroy any, just anyone. I'm definitely not saying at this point that this is an accessible team for everyone. It's the squad I've been really enjoying in Foot Champs, guys. And I want to share as much of my content with you as possible. I'd also like to see what you'd rate this team out of 10 in the comments. So write a comment down below of what you reckon this team is out of 10. Okay, today's unlucky customer is bringing, oh mate, I feel sorry for you. Chemistry's off, he's got lone Ferdinand. I should win, I mean, if I don't, it's actually embarrassing, but I can see this guy rage quitting. It's good football, good football. Oh, that would've been a sweet opener. Kyle Walker, plays it across to Jesus, no! I'm actually having so much fun. There's no stress in this game, it's amazing. Cuts back. Pele. Pele. And that's 1-0. As easy as you like. It's Pele, lads. He's paused it. He's paused it. I reckon this is a rage quit, boys. I didn't really want that to happen, to be honest. I wanted to play a decent game. Could be a red card. Not that it matters. I think he's going anyway. Could be a cheerio moment. It is indeed. We're going to go into another one just because I felt like we didn't really get much of a game there. Okie dokie, team number two. All right, he's got a full chemistry BPL. BPL? It's not BPL. Premier League team. Oh, oh, he's made a mistake. Pele can punish it. Oh, wow. Hey, hacked him down. He couldn't, couldn't handle the Pele. Oh. That's the only problem with playing against another Begovic. He pulls out saves like that. Hey, there we go. That's Begovic. We've got one as well, mate. There's one. Gabriel Jesus. On the score sheet, boys. As always, the link-up play between him and Pele is exquisite. Pele. Oh, he's just put it wide. It was on his left foot under pressure and off balance. I don't blame you, son. It's all right. Half time, 1-0. He's had more possession. He's actually not a bad player, but as I say, the team's just carrying me through it at the moment. Hull it. Don't give him space like that. Don't drop off Rude Hull it, mate. What are you doing? Of course he's going to bury it. Silly, silly boy. Don't jockey Rude Hullet. You just don't. This is this is too easy. Go alone. Oh, I tipped onto the bar. Oh, I nearly back it in. No. He's actually trying so hard. He's trying so hard to win this game. See? 
When <laughs> that's the beauty of having Begovic. I know it's been the same for him. And that's a GG. Didn't concede. Should have scored more. This game is 100% pay to win. And if you have a team like this, you lose very rarely. Let's just check the stats. He was a good player as well. He was a good possession player. That is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this £2,000 squad builder, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, support the video in any way you can. Rate the squad out of 10. As always, I'm on a quest to try and hit 600k before Christmas. So if you're not already subbed, really would appreciate you subscribing. Welcome to Team Hulk if you are brand new to the channel. And I'll speak to you all again soon. Adios.